I'm Ben Ballou, and this week, Charlie and I have got Bassmaster Elite Series pros, Wes Logan and Kyle Welter with us. These guys are absolute hammers, and we're going out on Smith Mountain Lake in Virginia, catching largemouth and smallmouth, deep, shallow. We're gonna catch them a bunch of different ways. You ready? Bass? Yeah. yeah. This looks like a good one, too. Yeah, that's a big one. We got him. We didn't lose that one. No, you got that one. Yeah. That's a good one. G Finesse has got him. G Finesse's hooks have got him. You're right. They did. Locked him up. What do you weigh? Three? 222. 222. All right. A healthy fish. Oh, he is. One of the Smith Mountain Lake. My first fish. Smith Mountain Lake bass. There you go. First Virginia bass. There you go. Thank you, buddy. This is a good little starting spot, and the main reason for that is the, the river that comes down this lake comes right there, and this is just a normal channel swing back bank that kind of turns at almost a 90 degree angle, and that current, if there is any current on this lake, I'm not sure if there is or not, but it's going to come out of that river and hit this head on. It's always going to be a place where bait fish congregate because it's a deeper channel swing. Anything the current hits head on is always really good all times of the year. Got him? No. Yeah. Big him? Can't tell yet. He was deep. He's going shallow. Golly. <laughs> he ran all the way up there. <laughs> Just ski him on that big line. Get out your way. What'd you catch him on? Power drop fish. Power drop. That's a good one. That a boy. Yeah, he's good. A little three pounder there. Look how fat. Little crawfish eater. They talking about blue heron? <laughs> crawfish. <laughs> what is he now? Three. Three. Hang on. Three thirty. 3.30, okay. That's a good one, dude. Yeah, not bad. I mean, he's he ain't very long, but he is built. Got him? Yep. Gonna? Uh, I don't really know. Yeah, he ain't bad. Well, I mean, he worth getting considered net, sore. I got him, I got him. Yeah, there you go. That's a good shot. Face full of G finesses. Do what? Face full of G finesses. That's it. I mean a big one. 127. What that in way? 127. 1.7. He's just tiny. That's a really good color you got. Got, got one. Him? Good one? Yep, good one. Small mouth, big small mouth. There's there's two more with it. Grab that live scope and look around for him. <laughs> they got us a spally. Got a browning. Ain't caught me a smallmouth in a while. Look at that sucker. Little. You think caught he me sitting it? down eating. Think he wanted it? Golly. That's a good one, too. See what he weighs. What are you, 280 something? Three even. Pretty small mouth. There you go. A good one, too. Sit down, fool. You ready? Yep. Good job. Good job, Lewis. Good job. Yes, yeah, sir. That'll work right there, man. Oh, one eye. Has he got one eye? I bet I'm sure does. Huh. You got him. We got him. <laughs> That's a pretty fish. Two sixty-six. Two sixty-six. That'll work. 
There Here's you your go. Fish, sir. There you go. That'll work. Gamakatsu alien head. Got that one, boys. Okay, buddy. I kept knowing if I threw that check head long enough, I'd get a bite. He's right there on the corner of that. Last dock in the pocket. Yeah. I had a little water on it. Yeah, a little bit, not a lot. Yeah, sure did. Six foot. 266. Oh, there he is. That's a big one. Strike. No, it ain't. No, it ain't neither. Oh, come here, baby. There we go. You need me to come up there or you can bring it back here? I'm bring, I can bring him to you. Oh, he's a good one, though. He's a good We need him. He is hooked in the gill plate only. No, yeah, he's in the side of the mouth. There we go. That's a, that's a good one. <laughs> Let's see what we got right here. Told you I could catch one. 308. 308's good. 308. Catching some three pounders on a rock crawler. Not bad. Hey, did you see those G finesses just had him right there in the corner yep. of the mouth? One hook. Yep. This water's so clear, there's not much wind. They're just nipping at it, but been able to land them. That's a big key. That's what we're looking for. Wow, love it. There he is. Good one. It's key. Keeper. For sure. Yep. I think I got him, Lisa. I believe you got him pretty good. Well, hello. You do now, Gosh, for sure. Charlie, Charlie. <laughs> Y'all like that head job? That's when you got them gamakatsus on there, buddy. You ain't got to worry about him. <laughs> they caught everything, the net, the fish. Yeah, I know it. 154. 154. Thank you, buddy. How long does the school stuff take? I ain't never done anything like that. We're, we're trying to talk to kids about like careers in There's the outdoors. There's one. Got him? It'll be the pound. That was interesting right there. We've been fishing some of these flatter points, cranking them. He was right on the little inside of a ditch right there. So that was, he hit it right at the boat though. He shall beat a pound. These fish are so healthy. Chill out my friend. 166. 166. Just healthy. I mean, that's not a long fish, but they're so thick here. Small mouth, short, and just super built. That's how you know it's a very healthy fish whenever their bone structure is not that big and they're just so girthy and fat. So just really, really healthy lake right here. There you about that? Oh, mate. That's a cool one. I'll get him in. Oh, yeah, baby. Glad I've been able to help a little bit this afternoon. I'm glad you woke up. Woke up. You ready? Yes, sir. There he comes. I'm a heck of a net man now. I guarantee you. You better than snuff and ain't half as dusty. <laughs> that alien head got him, sir. Alien head got him. Right. Show him where he's hooked. Right there in the side of that mouth. Right there where he's supposed to be. Big time. If all else fails, throw y'all a shaky head, and the alien head is the best one out there. I'll have to agree with you. Well, yeah, it's got yeah. a really good hook in it. It's got a gamakatsu hook. We got a 211. You may let him go for you. Yeah, go ahead. I'm just trying to I get this I haven't got to touch one in a while. Boy, you have. <laughs> <laughs> see that little keeper right there? If that worm doesn't, you see a lot of them with screw heads on them, but that allows that worm to slide off when you set the hook. You're going to get a lot better hookup with it. Plus, it's got a gamakatsu hook, and the way the head's shaped, it comes through cover really well. This is an eighth-ounce alien head by gamakatsu. But stripers will... Got him? Oh, gosh! Dude, it is bad. Holy cow! Oh, my goodness, dude. That is a giant... Oh, easy. <laughs> Get that sucker for me. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, gosh. I mean, just went like elbow deep in after Look him. at that thing right there, yeah. dude. On the old Maxi, but, yeah. 
Look at that thing. <laughs> you want to talk about one that's built? Is that a four pounder? Oh my God. Yeah, he four. Ain't he? Four pounder. We can call him four. Four pounder. On the max eye. Look at that dude. So what we've kind of decided to do, we, we caught some fish cranking some windy points and then kind of made a little ride down the lake this afternoon and just started live scoping out here on some, you know, some, some big points. Uh, got in some a lot clearer water and just donged a small mouth right there. Yeah, a good one. You know, this first time one. this first time either one of us has been to this lake. So you kind of really want to sample it all when you come to a place like this. You kind of want to see exactly what all it has to offer. Up the river cranking, caught some nice ones. Down here, just caught a nice one. So it's looking like this lake has a lot to offer. So many people go to go through life and they go to work on Mondays and all they're looking for is Friday and they hate going to work, but they feel like they gotta do it. You can find something you really wanna do. I just set my goal to where I was going to make myself better at fishing 1% every single day. And that's really easy. I was either talking to guys that knew a lot more about it than I did, or I was watching YouTube videos, or I actually went fishing, or I was working on fishing tackle. Whatever it is, make yourself 1% better every day. Dedicate yourself to something that you're passionate about. That's truly all it takes to be successful. Have a plan. Set yourself some goals and big dreams. Big dreams. Don't shoot small, right? Dream big and figure it out. Stick to your goals. The best thing that you can do now, especially in the age of social media, is never compare yourself to other people because everybody's journey to get where they're going is going to be a lot different. Find something where the harder you work, the better results you can get out of it. Have faith in that, that if you work hard, you'll get the good results and you're going to end up where you need to end up. Just because you think you want to do something and you get there and it just doesn't feel right or you don't want to do it, it doesn't hurt to change. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing, nobody's going to look down on you because the majority of the people in America have done that. Um, and a lot of the successful people have done that. It just seems like to me when you really find something you want and you enjoy it and you're supposed to be there, you, you, your life feels like you're doing something positive, um, you can't really beat that. Uh oh, that's probably a good one. Yep. <clears throat> I ain't that good. You got him? Uh, yeah, I got him. I don't think he'll cool cover one, really. We got a 127, but it'd be close. Yeah, it might be. That old arc rod boy gets them, don't it? Yep. Yeah, he'll be the 127, I think. Perfect. Don't you, don't you think? Alien head got him, didn't it? Couldn't come off in a million years. Mm -mm. Oh, I'll check sure him. couldn't. I'll check him for you. Thank you, boss. The 132. One what? 132. Okay, you will have to change yeah. the board. Yeah. 132. Digging? Uh, what does that be? I don't know. Looking well, bigger. if you're giving a poker lesson and I'm catching fish up here. Oh, oh God! Dang, dude. Holy cow, what a fish. On that stump. Good Lord. That's a good one. Oh, stay down. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a large head. Don't do it again, please. Dude, I can't keep him down. Yeah, you, you ain't got to. I'm about to get him. I'm about to stick my hand down his throat. <laughs> How about that one? <laughs> oh my gosh. Give me some. 456. We'll take that one, dude. We will take that one. Whoo! I about screwed up there, didn't I? <laughs> good one, dude. Is it? I think so. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm gonna try to get in there and catch another one. Go on. Oh, brown fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you. Got one? Oh. What's it in a pile? There's a pile there. Yep, there's a pile. Old brown one. See what we can do with him. He may be, I don't know if he's a three pounder or not. Too close, ain't he? 346. 346.
they just so built huge i mean for the, for the frame beautiful fish smith mountain lake is one of the coolest lakes i have ever been to you really like it i really like it <laughs> i can tell we got large mouth small mouth i mean just whatever you want to catch there's a bunch of them in here and they're pretty good size well you want to show y'all's boards <clears throat> we can Show them up there, Wesley. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can do that. I'll let you do the honor, sir. What? Y'all go. Y'all go, go first. We're gonna do them at the same time. Or, okay, me first. Yeah. All right. Uh, there's ours. We, we uh, didn't add ours up. No. We know y'all pounded us. Yep. That's right. Yeah. Wow. I they hear pounded you. Pounded us bad. I'm gonna put that up, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> that's embarrassing. You know what, Wes? Yeah, that's pretty bad. Uh, but like we just said, you know, this place is full of big fish. We knew that coming in, and God, me and Charlie least. caught quite a few. Just you know, a lot of pound and a half, two pounders, but. I know y'all caught quite a few uh, good ones, which is, I mean, that's very impressive. You know what we didn't do? What's that? Lose any. That you're I not think going it's because them gone got two hooks. For sure. Make them that's probably Black bigger than when you finished second in the Bassmaster Classic. <laughs> <laughs> this is it right here. Yep. That's it. That's it, buddy. Well, sports fans, that winds up another class on the university. We want to thank Gamakatsu for bringing us these great products we were able to catch these fish on this week. I also want to thank them for sending Kyle and Wes here to film with us to catch these fish. They're really good fishermen, fish the Bassmaster Elite Series. We look forward to seeing you right here next week on the University. Fishing University,